science uh, has a set of experiences in which bizarre ideas, special relativity, quantum mechanics, uh, which are so at variance with everyday wisdom, with common sense, turn out to be true. I mean, that's the way the universe is built. And uh, if you happen to think that it's bizarre that time slows down when you take a walk, too bad for you. It's not up to you to decide how the universe works. And if you think that it's, uh, that it's really crazy that uh, uh, a molecule can uh, be in one position and another position, but not in an in-between position, too bad your common sense doesn't apply down at the, the level of the, of the atoms. Science has a rigorous set of methods by which it can decide which ideas are in conformity with nature and which aren't. And as I said before, the ideas that don't work are uh, ruthlessly uh, eliminated. It doesn't mean that the scientist responsible is uh, dragged off to prison. It just means everybody says this is a really dumb idea and don't bother me with it. The boundaries of the plausible depends on who is judging what's plausible. And uh, it often happens that uh, what is considered obviously plausible in one time turns out to be dead wrong in another. Uh, the Earth is flat. The Earth is at the center of the universe. A separate creation made human beings. There is a preferential rest frame connected with the Earth and all the rest of the universe should be judged by the speed of the Earth. Well, all of those were things which uh, people for generations thought was obvious, were obvious, plausible. And as far as we can tell, they are all dead wrong. So that's part of the reason why you must push the boundaries of the plausible, because nobody knows where those boundaries are, and what's plausible may in fact be wrong. <laughs>